All right, welcome everyone. Season one for Diablo 4 is just around the corner. And so today I wanted to make a quick video on my gameplay experience transitioning from softcore over into hardcore gameplay in Diablo and why I think you should consider making a hardcore character in season one of Diablo 4 if what you hear in this video sounds at all interesting to you. So I started off playing Diablo 1 when it first released. I've played hardcore a little bit in Diablo 2 and a little bit in Diablo 3. And going into Diablo 4, I wanted to play a bit more casual, play with a lot of friends, and really kind of get a feel for the game. So I started off in softcore. Now, I love playing competitive games. I'm a speedrunner online. So hardcore has always been appealing to me. But going into Diablo 4, we started off playing softcore. I got a rogue up to around level 80. And at about that time, with pretty much maxed out gear, uh, I started to feel like I was getting a little bit bored. So we transitioned over into hardcore and have been playing a hardcore rogue uh, for some time now. And what I've found is that there are a couple big key differences playing a hardcore compared to softcore in Diablo 4 that have really made the game for me extremely enjoyable. So we're going to go over a couple of those things today. So as we made our transition from softcore to hardcore, there are a few key differences that I noted in those two playthroughs, and I kind of wanted to go through them today. The first one is that, to me, it almost feels like the gameplay mechanics in Diablo 4 were more designed for a hardcore playthrough. So when you're playing hardcore, the general mentality that I had going into this is we need to make sure that we're prepared for any encounter we get into. We're going to play tactically, strategically, taking calculated risks to make sure that any encounter that we find ourselves in, we're able to eventually make it back to town to go through all of our loot and continue to power up and get stronger. The mechanics for Diablo 4 and Soft Core in the kind of standard gameplay loop are going out into dungeons, killing monsters, gathering up a bunch of gear, coming back to town, seeing if the gear you had is better or not, um, and then kind of continuing that cycle. But you can play through the game very, very quickly. There's very little risk. Whereas in Hardcore, I tended to play a lot slower, be a lot more methodical in my play, and really think about the gameplay mechanics the gear that I'm putting on, the gear that I'm finding, and the choices that I'm making. So, for example, a lot of the side quests that you do in Diablo 4 really don't give you very good rewards when you're playing on soft core. But on hardcore, some of those rewards can be very important. The Salvage Cache, for example, which gives you one Veiled Crystal for doing this huge long side quest. In hardcore, that was suddenly really important to me. Because while it's not efficient for me to be upgrading my gear very often, changing aspects very, all that often, when I was playing hardcore, I thought to myself, I really can't afford to go out into a dungeon and not be prepared for the fights that I'm going to be getting into. So I found that I was very much starved for resources, low on gold, low on salvage materials to craft new and better items to make sure I always had an advantage in the next fight. So the side quests in my hardcore gameplay have been very meaningful. They've been a, a lot more exciting. I'm more invested in them. And the rewards I get have been a, a lot better uh, due to the mechanics of hardcore. Some of the other examples of kind of gameplay mechanics becoming more important in hardcore is that you really have to understand what all of the not just the stats of your gear and your character mean, your skill tree progression, and how to make your character stronger, but also what all the enemies bring to bear in the game. Knowing boss mechanics, knowing what's a one-shot AoE and what isn't, knowing what each of the individual elite affixes are that can really cause you problems or are extremely dangerous. For example, the cold enchanted and the fire enchanted elites are some of the most dangerous in the game, especially if you run into a pack of three cold enchanted elites that can stun lock you and then eventually kill you. You find that in hardcore, those are extremely dangerous. Even individual enemies, you need to understand their mechanics, their tells, 
and what they can do. A couple of key examples are the corpse bows. They can easily one-shot your hardcore character, so you really need to know when they show up in dungeons, the other enemies that they are encountered with, what they sound like, their movement speed, so you can be prepared to find and isolate those individual enemies and take them out quickly when you get into a fight. Same thing for some of the goat men that you encounter. I'm sure you've all seen hardcore death compilations where the individual gets killed by a goatman doing a heavy attack. That depth of knowledge of the game is really not required in a soft core playthrough. Whereas in hardcore, suddenly all these things become important. And I found that I was much more invested playing the game and having a lot more fun too. The other thing I noted while playing on Hardcore is that there was a big difference in feel and ambiance in the game compared to Softcore. In Softcore, I was focused on moving quickly, leveling up quickly, finding gear, and kind of grinding out dungeons. Whereas in Hardcore, especially at the early levels when you're still very weak and undergeared, the game is suddenly very terrifying. It felt just like playing Diablo 1 for the first time uh, when I was growing up in my basement, in the dark, going into that dungeon and hearing skeletons around the corner. It really brought back that amazing feel that Diablo used to have and now has again in Diablo 4, but it wasn't there in softcore for me. Going into a dungeon, there's always a chance that the Butcher could be there, and in those early levels, man, that's scary, thinking that the Butcher could be right around the corner, and you may not have a teleportation scroll to get out, you may not be able to escape, and it could be the end of your character. So it kind of slowed down my gameplay and really allowed me to appreciate the feel and ambiance and the dark nature of Diablo 4 that I had really missed in my softcore playthrough. Hardcore also makes sure that your choices become suddenly meaningful. Uh, every time you change out a piece of armor or a weapon that you think might be better but you're not sure and you go out into the world to test it, that could be the last choice that you make. Upgrading that gear or not upgrading your gear choosing which dungeon to go into, when to run away from a fight, when to take risk. These choices now are compelling and meaningful, and they have lasting consequences. If you miscalculate the fight that you're getting into, you don't retreat when you should, suddenly your character is dead, and you're back at the start screen and having to start over. And that brings us to our last point here, that playing hardcore on Diablo 4 is extremely high risk, but it's also extremely high reward and very satisfying. Having the right mentality playing hardcore in Diablo 4 is important. That mentality for me is that eventually my character is going to die. I'm going to take a risk that ends up in the death of my character. For me it's important to just make sure that all the risks that I take, all the fights that I get into are calculated, I'm being tactical, and that I learn from any death that occurs. So I've always got an alt ready to go in case my main dies. I'm always gathering gear for the next playthrough. But that high risk, high reward gameplay is so important and so much fun in Diablo 4. It really brought new meaning and reinvigorated Diablo 4 for me. And I'm excited to play on Hardcore in Season 1. When you get into a fight that you narrowly escape by the skin of your teeth, because there were elites around the corner or the boss fight was a little bit more challenging than you thought, but you live and you survive. The kick of adrenaline that you get, the dopamine drop, is unlike anything that you could ever achieve in softcore because the risk is so high. And that is really what keeps me coming back to hardcore in Diablo. I do play softcore still. I like to hang out with friends and go do world bosses or nightmare dungeons casually. But while I'm doing that, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next on my hardcore character. I'm looking at each individual fight on softcore and analyzing the mechanics, analyzing the elites, 
the move sets of the enemies so that when I get to hardcore, I can get into those same battles, get into those same fights, and eventually emerge victorious and make it back to town. So if anything that you heard in today's video you thought was interesting or compelling, I would strongly urge you to consider playing a hardcore character in Season 1 of Diablo 4. We're a bit new to content creation here, so please leave a comment and let me know what you think about hardcore versus softcore. If you're going to be playing hardcore in Season 1, and any feedback that you have for me. And also please be sure to like and subscribe to the video. And you can come watch our hardcore playthrough as well on Twitch. We stream at Boojum35 on Twitch.com, and we're streaming the entire playthrough of our hardcore characters on Diablo 4 right now and also into Season 1. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.